What's up guys, it is the day after New Year's Eve. It's New Year's Day, hooray! We are getting ready to go to a coffee shop, schedule out our week a little bit better. Um, tasks and chores and finances and all that other stuff. And then uh, we're meeting with our good friends, the Swartzes. What'd you get to drink? A black and tan. Show it off. What is a black and tan? This is the draft latte and draft uh, black ice coffee. And then I got a dirty chai. Goodness, this is a whole assortment of goodies. Do you have a Blu-ray player? I don't care about this. Yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Are these trendy bits? It is um, bourbon, maple, pecan, pecans, and, and bacon. Uh, oh. Maple, brown sugar, bacon. Enjoy. Thank you. That's lovely. We are packing up, getting ready to head home. It was really good to see the Swartzes and get coffee with them and exchange Christmas because we haven't seen them for the holiday. So we are going to wrap up and head home, get this stuff head done. Head to dinner. Head to dinner. Yeah, we're back steakhouse. We got a gift card, so we're going to go use that. Boom, shakalaka, out back. How was your dinner? It was good. They didn't have like five things here, <laughs> but we both got a steak, a potato, and side salad. We would have vlogged it, but we're getting we're pretty bad about vlogging food because we just get really hungry. I was hungry, so I just ate it. Shoom. Bosco! <laughs> After dinner, I'm gonna put you guys up here. After dinner every night, Bosco runs around like a crazy man, finds a toy, has to chase it. Um, I'm doing laundry, trying to get that done, and I don't feel good. I feel sick, really sick. Um, I don't know if it was from what we ate or not. So, we're gonna take it easy for the rest of the night. We're trying to do a lot of planning for the month of January and um, February, the rest of this year and trying to get prepared for this little girl that's about to enter into our life. Um, it's really weird because with Isabella, I didn't have a shower for her. Um, and with this little baby, our family wants to throw me a shower. And so trying to navigate like what that's supposed to look like what I should put on our registry. I'm trying to keep things like neutral, colored, because um, you just never know with adoption whether or not our expectant mom and dad will choose to parent or not because they have 48 hours um, to sign the papers and then in the state of Georgia they have an added 10 days to revoke their decision. So. We're moving forward like we're adopting this little girl, but in all actuality, like we don't fully know. So I'm trying to let myself get excited, but at the same time, I feel like I'm kind of a little bit guarded when it comes to thinking about the shower and what do I register for. And yeah, 
I don't know how to do these things. It's all new. I've thrown baby showers, but when it comes to having one for myself, I have a little bit of anxiety about it. So, John, what are you doing down there? Just farting around. <laughs> there you go, guys. That's what's happening. John's farting. I'm doing laundry, and I'm trying to feel better. Take some Tums. Chewable. With this shower that John's side of the family is trying to throw me, it's like, do I just invite close friends and family? Do I invite all the church people? I've had like several people from church ask me if I have information about a shower and so I don't know. I don't know how to navigate these waters. And then what do I register for? You know, do I register for just gender neutral things? Um, do I register for clothes? I don't even know what to register for. Um, thankfully there's Pinterest because Pinterest sometimes helps with these things. But if any of you guys have any ideas of what I should purchase, especially if you're an adoptive family, let me know what I need. I don't know what I need. I've just been focusing on the $37,000 that we need. So the actual items have been coming secondary to me. January is already filling up our schedule. You guys are sitting on a Tide box, a Tide container. I'm going to start trying to make our own laundry detergent. Once I can get the laundry soap stuff for from Young Living. I'm gonna switch from Tide to that, so hopefully it does the job still. Cause I'm a Tide lover, but I know there's a lot of chemicals in the Tide container. Well, I gotta do some research on that cause we're trying to be more organic with our products. And I know that laundry softeners are one of the number one chemicals in your household, so. Anyways. All right, time to get this done. I'm gonna go downstairs and get more stuff done. John's been working hard on getting our new intro done. I'm excited about it. Are you happy with it? Good. It's gonna be cool. And I'm supposed to be doing laundry. I actually need to go and switch that laundry out again. We love you guys. We're happy to be back in the YouTube world. We've missed vlogging. Anyways, we bid you adieu and good night. Bye bye.